Hello all, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see what is a VPC flow log, how we can enable VPC flow logs for our VPC and how we can check the flow logs and troubleshoot our network issues using the flow logs. So first, let's try to understand what is a flow log. Flow log is a feature that enable you to capture information about IP traffic going to and from a network interface in your VPC. So let's say example, I'm having a one instance and I am running one application on port 80 on my EC2 instance. My application is running fine, but somehow I am not able to connect to my application. So where I can check what could be the issue or where I can check if it is related to a VPC or it is related to some of my browser issue, where I can check the traffic is getting accepted, where I can check from which IP address I am getting traffic where I can check in how much time it is taking to send response. So all the details where I can check all these details. So for this, we need a VPC flow log to be enabled for our VPC. So flow log data can be published in a flow following location. So we can send our flow log data either to CloudWatch or Amazon S3 bucket or in Amazon data firehose. So these are the three destination currently and we can send flow log data to this location so most common i would see the cloud watch logs so in cloud watch logs we can see our flow logs and troubleshoot the networking related issues okay so but let's see if it is free or there is some cost associated with enabling the flow log so definitely there is some cost but it is not on specific flow log service it is on the data ingestion so suppose we are sending logs to cloud watch then it will applicable your cloud watch pricing if you are sending logs to s3 bucket then it will applicable based on your s3 bucket data pricing okay so it will based on your data ingestion and archival charges okay so if we are sending logs to cloudwatch so this is a sample flow log record so it will show the version then your aws account id your interface id source address destination address on which port the traffic is coming what is the destination port you are sending the response which protocol it is using how many packets are there packet size start time end time action if it is accepted or rejected and the log status so this is kind of sample record so i'm going to show you with a demo how this record look like how we can set up a vpc flow log so i'll go to my aws console now and i will try to see how we can enable aws flow log for our VPC. so let me go to aws console now so I am in my AWS console. So first let me go to a VPC and there I will create one VPC with a quick option. So let me go to the VPC and I'll create one VPC with a basic configuration, one subnet in public, one subnet in private. So let me click create VPC. So I'll use this option VPC and more. I will choose this range. I will need just one AZ and public subnet 1, private subnet 1 I don't need NAT gateway, S3 endpoint I don't need and I'll just create VPC you can see this is a very quick option to create our VPC with required root table, required subnets and attaching internet gateway so this is the easiest way to create your a VPC now let me click on view VPC so you can see my VPC is created but in flow log currently you do not have any flow log so to enable flow log first I'll go to EC2 and I'll create one instance so we can just play around a flow log and we'll have demo how we can check the flow logs on what kind of details we can capture in a flow log so let me go to the EC2 and in EC2 I'll create one instance I'll go to instance page and I'll quickly create one instance so I'll use the default configuration here but I will choose a VPC I created so VPC which I created is a project VPC with the default configuration I have created okay so here I'll give the name for my EC2 instance as web server okay I'm just giving the dummy name I'll use Amazon Linux free care eligible image I'll keep this default I don't need any key okay so networking I will change because I don't want default I need my project VPC which I created just now 
and I need also need a public IP so security group so I'll just allow SSH traffic and I'll just give the name as web server SG so let me just change the name okay I'm just giving the name and currently I am having traffic allowed on port 22 so let me just launch my instance so it will launch my instance and once I log in my instance I'll just execute I'll just install the simple Apache application or HTTP service okay I'll just open So my instance is now running I'll just select and I'll connect to my instance using the EC2 instance connect that is easiest method to connect to the EC2 instance you want to know more about other options to connect to your EC2 instance you can just watch my previous videos on how to connect to the EC2 instance with the different options available so now I am in my EC2 instance I'll just install HTTP service Let me just start this service. Enable. Okay, let me check this status. Okay, so it is running. You can see this service is now running. So let me check on my external IP if I can access this service. Okay, so let me just click on this. So this is my external IP. So I'll just open HTTP and IP address. So definitely it will not work. But now how I would troubleshoot what is the issue because we do not have a flow log enabled in our VPC. So before troubleshooting what we'll do now, I'll go and I'll just enable a VPC flow log. So there are a couple of steps to enable the VPC flow log or create a VPC flow log. So here for now you can see too long to respond to this connection timed out. So now I'll go to VPC and simply click on a create a flow log. So now I will just give project VPC flow log okay so if you want traffic only for accepted instance or rejected all I need for all okay I need for one minute and I want to send it to CloudWatch as I said we had three options one is CloudWatch logs C bucket and data firehose in the same account or in different account now destination group so currently in drop down there is nothing so I'll just give the name so it will create new log group project VPC flow log Okay, so I'll use this one the name of an existing group or the name of the new log group you will be created when you create this log so new log stream is created for each monitored network interface so I have to give IAM role now this is the most important step okay so here you have to give IAM role so I'll first create one new role and I'm not sure which permission to give now okay so I will refer the AWS documentation so I'll go and check permissions okay so publish flow logs to CloudWatch and here we'll see the permissions I am permission for publishing flow logs to CloudWatch logs I'll click on this and you will see at least this minimum this permission and this is the trust policy so I'll go and create role so first I need trust policy okay so what trust policy I need so they have given I have to add this in my principle I'll just copy this part okay. 
and I'll just add in my turf policy. So we need to add vpc hyphen flow hyphen log dot amazon aws dot com. So I'll just click on next now. Okay, now I have to select the permissions. So permission, you can see either you can put these permissions or I'll just give attach a policy. So what I will do, I'll just try with cloud watch logs and I'll try to give any full permission related to a cloud watch. You can see the cloud watch log full access. I'll give this for now. I'll click next. Role name, I'll give flow log role and I'll just create so it is creating my role and a role flow log created now I can use this role here so currently you can see there is nothing if I refresh and I'll check the drop down I can see my role which I just created okay so I'll check the drop down now and I can see the flow log role so I'll select this role so the log record format I will keep the default format and uh, this is a default format so I'll copy this default format for now I'll copy in my uh, notepad plus plus first okay and now I'll just create a flow log so my flow log is getting created so let's wait for a few seconds and you can see you successfully created a flow log so if I go to a flow log now so you can see one a flow log the destination is my log group so if I go to destination log group currently it won't be available if there are no new log entries generated during this time you can see log group cannot be found and that is expected if I click on a log group so currently you can see zero because no new entry is generated so we'll wait here for some time and what I'll do I'll try to generate some log entries so earlier we were accessing this and we were not able to access because of connection timeout I'll try to access this again okay so I'll just reload this page and also I'll check one more thing and now I will check again in cloud watch log groups let me refresh and now you can see the log group is created project vpc flow log okay so we can check the log entries here and there are a log entry generated so now I want to check one thing here I'll just check my external IP first So I'll check any of the website and I'll check my external IP. So my external IP is this one. I'll check because I try to access this IP 13.235 from my external IP. Okay, so I'll check if this entry is available in this log group. So I'll just try to find here and you can see entry is here. I'll just try to open. So first you can see this is my IP. So from this address, I try to access this address 10. Dot. So this, this is showing my private IP of my instance. So if you go to instance, it is your private IP 10.0.11140. Okay, and I try to access on port 80. Traffic is rejected, okay, it is not because we do not have any security group available to accept the traffic on port 80 now what I will do I will just start telling the logs I will enable or I will just allow the traffic on port 80 so I will just go to the security group ok so this is my security group here so I will just open my security group and I will just did it inbound rule and I'll add rule to accept the traffic that is HTTP traffic on port 8 from 00, 0 and I'll just save the rule okay now I started telling the log so there are no new log entry now let's see 
if I reload it should display the message it works okay now this time it works it allowed traffic let's see the logs here you will see the logs now because we started this telling and we should see the lot of log entries within a few seconds here okay now you can see the log entries generated here so I'll, I'll just go to these log entries so what was my external IP 223 we can see lot of IP addresses because this, this is for internal processing it just traffic goes route by route so I'll just show you here I'll just go to this link again in my log group I'll try to see the accepted traffic again because this time it accepted the traffic I'll just load a couple of time to just generate the more log entries okay and let me just do find again okay I have this log entry so this is the earlier one the rejected so let me just go here again and get the latest logs I'll go to this log stream and I will go for last one minute log okay and again I will just generate entry so as we selected the window aggregation window one minute it will take up to one minute to get our logs in a cloud watch so I'll just keep refreshing let's see it is showing the loading events now so one minute it is taking time so instead I will just go for last five minute okay so yeah so I'm checking the last five minute log now and I can see for my IP the traffic is accepted now earlier it was reject but now it is accepted. so this is my source IP this is a destination and also we immediately got the response now this time this is a source and this is a destination on port 80 I'll just go and copy this earlier we copied the format and let me show you so you can see this is the version first is version second is our AWS account ID so let me show you so this is 6275 is AWS account ID this is ANI ID this is source address this is destination address this is source port and this is destination port this is your protocol 6 min TCP this is packets then you have bytes then start time end time it is in epoch format and the traffic status this accept and log status okay. Okay. So there are different log status and action accept reject okay so this is how we can check the VPC flow log so hope you are now clear how we can set up a VPC flow log and how we can validate our VPC flow logs in a cloud watch hope I you be comfortable with this now so now we'll delete all the resources we created I'll start with the log group so I'll start with the flow log because log group else will be created automatically so I'll first delete flow logs then I will delete the EC2 instance so I have to terminate my instance I am deleting everything to just avoid the cost ok so I had earlier instance as well so I will delete both the instances ok now I will go back to VPC and I will see if I can delete my VPC so sometimes if few of the resources are being used you will get an error while deleting let's see else it will delete now you can see one operation is progress so shutting down so once it is terminated we will be able to delete our VPC so we have to wait till the time it is terminated currently it is in a shutting down state okay it is now terminated let me go back to VPC and 
try to delete our VPC okay it is deleting my VPC and along with this it is deleting the internet gateway private subnet root table public subnet root table security group and my public subnet as well so that should be fine I'll just delete okay and in cloud watch I'll just delete the log group as well so I'll select this log group and I'll delete log group so now we created all the resources just to avoid the cost we used in this demo so only one thing is remaining now to delete the role so I'll just delete the flow log role just copy the name here and roll also deleted so that's it for this video and we'll see you in a further video